Hi, I'm Sandra Pelli the Sandini Inner Peace Mentor and Visionary of the Guide Academy. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the language that I use when you start to get to know me, because I've been told that sometimes people don't understand what I'm talking about. So I wanted to bring it to you now so you can get to know me a little bit better. And some of these terms you may already be using and other terms might be very new to you. One of the terms that I use quite frequently is the little you. And the little you is that child version of yourself that's usually from conception to the age of five or seven years of age. It could be also known as the inner child and the small self. But in essence, it's that very intimate guide, that very intimate part of yourself that has a huge I'd like to say hold maybe on who you are as an adult. In fact, you, it's likely that you're actually still looking at life possibly from your little you version of self, even though you are living in an adult body. More about that later on. Another term that I use is tapping into it. What I mean by tapping into it is that if there is a beautiful emotion, like the joy that's happening around you because of an event, tap into that ride that surf that be in that emotion be in that joy be in that fun that's what i mean by tapping into it another common phrase you'll hear me say is stepping into your life i talk about the solar plexus the chakras fair amount and the solar plexus is your belly and in your belly there's a very very thin line and you could be on either side of that thin line one could be where you're falling into the fear and anxiety and the other side is that stepping into your life when you're stepping into your life you are being proactive in the things that you are doing i talk a lot about the i am statements and the power of them uh, when we use positive things behind the word i am Another phrase that I talk about is the energy of things. Everything is every, and let me say that again. Everything is energy. I'm energy, your energy, the computer's energy, animals are energy, leaves are energy. Everything has an energy to it. We talk about empaths as well. I believe truly that everybody is an empath. If that doesn't resonate with you, that's absolutely fine. I don't mind. I'm not going to judge you for that. Uh, I believe that everybody feels energy. That's why we are all empaths, because when you are empathic, you're feeling the energy of something. That could be a world event, that could be at a funeral or a wedding, that could be sitting across the table from your spouse and he's grumpy or she's grumpy or very excited about something and you're getting caught up in the energy of that. You're, you're living in that energy, you're feeling that energy. So that's what empath and, and energy is all about. You know, there's so many more as well, but at least that gives you a kind of like an indication of some of the things that you'll hear coming from me when I'm speaking or writing. As I said, little you is probably one of my favorite because I, I love doing this brain slide. So you know what, I think I'm gonna leave you with the brain slide. So imagine this small version of yourself, the little you on the top of your head, Close your eyes. Imagine that small version of yourself, the little you is on the top of your head. Imagine there's a slide down into your heart space. And have that little you slide down the slide. Feel the woo-hoo. <laughs> Oh, I love doing that. That's always been so much fun. And I will tell you maybe in a future email how I came to develop that little you and the brain slide have a magical rest of the day and know that you are fully supported by myself and so many others especially your spirit guides thank you